Hey guys, how's it going? Ghosty Rich here. So today I'm just going to be showing you an install bay isolator relay. These are great for when you're adding batteries to a car audio setup. This is an IB500. Um, it'll also work for the, like the Pack 200s and the install bay 200s. Basically any isolator relay, this is basically how they work. It's just, well, if you know how a relay works, that's basically what this is. It's just, you're going to have your one battery. Well, this is going to go to the one that's going to be inside your hood, which is going to be to run your actual car and everything inside the car. So, you know, your lights, uh, well, everything that's not the car audio setup, as I would put it. Uh, maybe you're running your deck off of it, so that'll all run whatever is actually inside your car and running off this fuse box, we'll say. Now, the second one is going to go to the back of the vehicle or wherever you're going to have your secondary battery. What this basically does is it's a 500 amp relay, which you'd know if you're probably looking this video up anyway. But... What's going to be going on is I'm just going to quickly show you how to wire it up and some uh, safety measures to take. So basically this is the ground. As you can see we have it grounded here. Uh, the bottom one here is going to be grounded. Then the top one um, is going to be, which is the top post, is going to go to your ignition. Now the one that's closest to the battery, battery number one, you connect to the first post and then this one is going to go to your second battery which is going to be in the back for your car audio system or maybe you're doing a couple up front you know uh, but that'll go to your secondary battery all right now a good thing to have just in case this relay ever fails is a battery guard i'll be showing you how to wire this up a little bit later um as you can see here it's uh what it's meant to do is on your amplifier as you know, there's a remote turn on. So what you do is you hook this up to your remote turn on, and that way if your voltage ever drops below a certain point, what it'll do, like with the batteries, it'll actually turn off the amplifier to so you don't damage the batteries, which is really good, you know, for battery protection. So it's a lot cheaper to troubleshoot, you know, maybe a dead install bay uh, relay rather than have to replace a battery because it drains too low. Alright, so I hope this video helps you out. Stay tuned if you're uh, looking towards the battery guard indicator. I'll post a, a link to the video somewhere in this area. Alright, perfect.